toe. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I enjoyed the hell out of this. It, it was a good movie, but <laughs> God damn. <laughs> It was unpleasant to watch. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, Listen, we got a, the the Belko experiment. Yeah. AKA uh, Battle Royal meets the office. Yeah, or office space. Yeah. <laughs> office space. <laughs> Dude, if I got to see Lundberg get his brains bashed in with a stapler, that, yeah, that, exactly. that would have been worth it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Well, we got a tape dispenser at least. It, it, yeah. But. Yeah. It's on the movie poster. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but. Yeah, so this movie, uh, I actually, I actually got this movie confused with another movie. Which movie? Um, what, what's that other movie that's coming out? The one where the girl goes to work for the company and they're like, oh, the circle, the circle. Yeah, yeah. Watson. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought this was. <laughs> that's actually, what you thought this was. I, I've, it's, it's two movies about an evil corporation that spies on you and then people might get killed or something. I don't know. No, yeah, well, I, people I, I, definitely got killed in this. Yeah, one. but I, when, when I when I saw this, I, I immediately recognized what it was. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I got that confused. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the plot of this movie is pretty simple. Yeah, um, these people work at this company in Colombia. For God yeah, knows why. Yeah, and uh, they go to work one day, and all the doors and windows seal shut, and a mysterious voice says. 30 people must die by 2 p.m. Or and we kill 60 of you. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, you can tell where it goes from there. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> it's... Things degenerate very quickly. Oh. In the words of Ron Burgundy, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, for, uh, I don't think we should spoil this movie, although... I think it's pretty easy to figure out. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, it was an experiment this whole time. Yeah. Which they were kind of vague about, but at the same time, it was kind of a cliche. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, we it's came nothing out, that hasn't been done yeah, before. In fact, uh, we came out saying this was just like an episode of The Twilight Zone. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm sure there have been multiple situations in the twilight zone that were similar to this true I mean, um, hell the monsters are due on maple street yeah that's the one with the aliens right yeah the, yeah yeah i think that was the one i was thinking of yeah there was also the uh the one with the the one guy who had the bomb shelter on his on his yes block. yes yeah. and there yeah there, there's been a lot of stuff like that on the on the twilight zone uh, nothing nearly this brutal though, because no people get murdered. You you have James pretty... Gunn directing; it's gonna get pretty. Yeah, dark and <laughs> it's not a Guardians of the yeah. Galaxy film. You're gonna see blood. Yeah, can I can I just say for, okay, look, I felt bad for the majority of people in this movie. Yeah, uh, with the exception of maybe two or three. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. I would never work for this company. Well, no. Even not knowing that the shit that was going to go down with them. First of all, it's in the middle of Bogota, Colombia. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> surrounded by armed guards because it's Bogota, Colombia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and on top of that, you have to get an implant put into your skull, which they say is to track you in case you get kidnapped. Yeah. But bullshit. Uh, listen, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for work right now. Because the YouTube thing hasn't taken off yet, I guess. Mm. Uh, I've been applying to many places, and I, I would definitely take a lot of work. If any company I apply to tells me I need to put a skull implant in, I ain't working for them. Yeah. I am not. That's that's where I draw the... Actually, I draw the line further back, because... I'd negotiate and say, hey, can you just put it in my hand? Yeah. You know? So if yeah. worse comes to worse, I just end up with a hook hand for the yeah. rest of my Does life. Does it need to be in the skull? Yeah. Really? By the way, the rig to explode. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so that's how they kill people off. All I know is that, I, I, it, like I said, any it, if anyone out there is looking for work, you go to a company and they want to put an implant, don't work for that company. Yeah, that's a deal breaker. Fuck off. I don't care if Disney calls me and said, we want you to work on our next big movie, but we need you to put an implant. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. You, you work on Wreck-It Ralph 2 by yourself. I ain't... Yeah. I ain't <laughs> Plus, any jobs that ask you to work on commission, don't do those either. Yeah. Oh, I'd, rather no, have a, no, I'd rather no, have a skull implant no. than yeah. work on commission. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit, man. Uh, 
So yeah, um, they had guns on the premises because of course they do. Yes. Um, what office do you know that has an armory? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, um, but the, I guess it kind of made sense because they were in the middle of of nowhere Bogota, in Colombia. Columbia. I mean, they had armed guards, but I guess I guess that was. Well, it, they in, showed up that day though. Yeah. They weren't there before. Yeah. Well, in, in theory, I guess it was to you know defend the the building in case shit went down. In theory. But it, because of the experiment, they were there for that reason. Yeah, to keep them and, from getting out. I just want to say, even though like there was guns in this movie, not that many people got killed by guns. Most people got beaten to death. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or stabbed, or impaled on something. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Have some water. Yeah, have some water. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, uh, probably my favorite character in this movie was the stoner. Yeah. Because he, here's the thing. He fucking figured everything out, but he did it in a stoner way. Yeah. And he was like, don't drink the water, because they were handing out bottled water to everybody who was... Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, don't drink the water. It's probably got some shit in it, and it probably did. It probably did. Because... It got him all hyper-aggressive. I, I actually was keeping track of people who were drinking the water. And, oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, the main guy didn't, I don't think he drank any water. No. The, the boss drank all of the water. Yeah, and he got, yeah. oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill my boss? Do I dare live the American dream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately their boss in this case was a, a special forces trained guy who can break necks without even blinking. Yeah, oh god. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one girl tried to... He really to, uh, was the final boss. <laughs> uh, you know what, this... This situation would make for a pretty good game. It really would. Like a survival game where everyone in the office, you have to like hide from people and shit. Yeah. Adult Swim, get on that. <laughs> I play the uh, hell out of it. Yeah. Um, but shit, yeah. Shit, man. Uh, in fact, most but most of the people in this movie died from the from the yeah, yeah. skull chips exploding. Yeah. Which. They they were yeah they said they were like bomb implants or whatever. You look close at those. They were fucking ball bearings. That's yeah. all they were. Yeah, because they were trying to uh, later on in the movie they were trying to like remove as many as possible from the dead people. Yeah, the stoner guy was taking them out of the back of their heads with pliers. Yeah, yeah. yeah there there were so many red flags about this company. I'm amazed <laughs> anybody worked for it. I don't care how bad of a situation you're in. I don't care if you end up homeless. At least your skull will be intact. It's true. I, I find in the long run that that does a lot better. At least you don't have to worry about your head popping like a grapefruit. God damn. Yep. Yeah. This movie was was very gory too. It was. It, yeah. But it seemed to work. Uh huh. Don't get attached to anybody, by the way. Oh yeah, of course yeah. not. Yeah. Um. There was uh shit, man. Uh, who was the 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 one guy, Wendell? Yeah, Wendell, yeah. played by John McGinley. Yeah. Uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Cox. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah! Crim criminally <laughs> underutilized, but still creepy as fuck. Yeah, he made it work, though. Yeah. He played the office pervert. Yeah. Who would, uh, spoilers, get his comeuppance yes. in, in a big way. And you were all just kind of... that. I think that sums up this movie, uh, like, pretty much just... You're just waiting for people to get what what's coming to them. Yeah. And they do. Yeah. The other guy who I felt was criminally underutilized was uh, Michael Rooker. Yeah. Who played one of the maintenance guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yondu. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, he was actually one of the first to go. He really the, was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, too bad he didn't have his, uh, his whistle arrow. The whistle arrow. arrow. Yeah. <laughs> The movie would have ended a lot quicker with that. Yeah, that's just true. <laughs> he should have channeled Henry, but any case. Uh, uh, yeah, that too. Yeah. This is the... Wow, man. Dude from Walking Dead was one of the first to go. Yeah, I Merle. Yeah, that. that's right. Merle. It was Merle, too. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, man. Uh, everyone, two days till retirement. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm pretty uh, sure the severance package sucks. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, what's this? What's this uh, clause in my insurance about not covered for head explosion? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, if you geez. suffer any brain injuries, we are not we are not liable. <laughs> yeah, you knew what you were getting into. Exactly. We we put an implant in you. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I don't know what what else is there to say about this. Uh, there isn't really much to say about the security guard guy. Was cool. 
Oh yeah, Evan. Yeah, there were a lot of people. That's the thing with this movie. It, you you were gonna get you will get attached to some people. That is true. And you I mean, will they be rooting them for likeable. them. You you and will be rooting for them, and it will, will be futile. It will it will hurt. It really, will have been really in bad. vain. Oh um, my god. Yeah. But yeah. Get, can yeah. I can I just point out? I just realized something. What's that? This is the third movie in a row that we have been to where everyone dies. <laughs> Well, we, we went to, well, most, almost everyone. Get Out, and then Logan, and now this. Yeah, that's true. At, at this point, at this point, I am actually looking forward to Power Rangers. <laughs> and you know what? That's probably going to be a fucking downer, <laughs> That too. better not. It's Power Rangers. It can't be. I, Tommy's going to come in and just kill everybody. No! <laughs> Jason <laughs> David Frank, why? <laughs> God, just steps on him with a dragon sword. Exactly. Oh my God! I, you know what, man? I was actually like ambivalent about that movie. I was like, I'll see it, but I won't care about it. But now but you need something kind of. Like I need something spirits. better. I need. I need to see some superheroes. <laughs> God damn it! Because <laughs> because fuck the last three movies we watched. They were They've all been downers. They were all great movies. Don't get me wrong, but fuck <laughs> in, in a <laughs> row. No, don't ever do that to yourself. <laughs> Oh, Next boy. week, we're going to watch the special edition of American History X. Oh, God. Followed by Schindler's List. Yes. And we're going to top it off with Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Plague Dogs and Old yeah. Yeller. And oh, Bambi. <laughs> Watership Down. <laughs> Actually, not Bambi. Just the scene where his mother gets killed. <laughs> yeah. The rest of it's just fluff. Yeah. Except oh. for the next hunting season. <laughs> Uh, I still find it funny that, that that's the where John Williams got the inspiration for Jaws was the theme for man in that movie. Wow, really? Yeah, when the hunters show up. Shit. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, I don't have uh, much else to say about it, but... Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's a bloodbath. If you like if you like that shit, man. Oh, yeah, I do. This, I is, was... this is your movie. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, oh, can I, can I say something ironic? What's that? Um, uh, on the way back... Uh, on, in my car, my on the radio, okay, uh, the song uh, "I Fought Authority, Authority Always Wins" came on the radio. Oh, I thought the law on the yeah, one. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck, man, that's yeah. too on the on the nose." Yeah, of course, of course, they begin the movie with um, "I Will Survive." Yeah, I mean, it's a oh, cover. you know what? That's one thing I really liked about this movie: the the Spanish covers of all the music. Yeah. Like those were really good. Yeah, because the two they use most heavily is uh, "I Will Survive" at the beginning of the movie, and then throughout the movie they used. Uh, like for the execution scene, they used oh, California yeah. Dreaming California. by the Mama, Mamas oh, that, and the Papas. That, that was actually kind of an unintentional funny moment because yeah. they had they had this scene where like they lined everybody up to be kill, killed, shot they, in the back of the yeah, head. Yeah, and the dude was like, "Play some music or something," and the dude turned on the radio. <laughs> yeah, and it was California Dreaming. <laughs> There in were Spanish. there were a couple of of very unintentional funny moments, like when they were in the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was hardcore. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the music was playing. I think actually my favorite one was uh, there was a new girl in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, and the, the, it was her first fucking day. Yeah, the yeah. worst first day ever. Yeah. Um, actually, fun fact: uh, at my first day at my first job ever, a customer threatened to kill me. Damn. I'm not kidding. That Holy was the worst. Crap. He yeah he came back later and apologized, but shit. Uh, anyway, after throwing that into the ether, Man, I've had people condemn me to hell over the phone, but never, never got threats to my uh, life. He was some redneck fuckwad. At least he apologized. I, I guess. I guess. Anyways, <laughs> anyway. Sorry for all. Well, he didn't do it. Obviously, <laughs> saying I was gonna kill you. <laughs> I wonder if he's watching. I. Who knows? <laughs> now nah, you don't remember. He's some redneck asshole. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I forgot what. Oh. um... So there was this new girl in the movie who was kind of, like, hiding this whole time. Yeah. She was probably the smartest one. Just um, yeah. hiding, waiting for the whole thing to blow over. And um, she inadvertently killed a guy because he, he came after her. And yeah. um, later on in the movie, they were saying, uh, okay, whoever, whoever has the most kills will be able to leave. And they listed off everybody and how many people they killed. And... Uh, yeah. She was in the know. she was in the elevator with this other guy who they were trying to hide. Yeah, they, they she, were holding yeah. each other, and they mentioned her name and she said she one, kill. one kill. And he was and like, he... <laughs> "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we found one or two bits of joy in this movie. Yeah, because oh my god. Uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I 
I think we're gonna move on from here. Yeah. <laughs> just, just wait until Power Rangers come out. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I recommend it, but uh, proceed with caution. Yes, and for those of you currently seeking jobs, take a good look at their benefits package and everything else before you sign up. Also, take a close look at their company logo. Yes. Because make sure it's not an it, eyeball. Yeah. If if they're <laughs> yeah. not, if it's an eyeball staring at you sinisterly. Don't work for that company. Yes, don't. If they ask you to have a skull implant, don't work for that company. If, if they ask you to spend $200 on your own supplies, to, uh, like a starter kit, don't work for that company. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fuck. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is job hunting with Rob and Pinto. <laughs> yeah. this is, that's what this video is now. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. Yes, well, let's same. Watch, let's watch something fun. Yes. Yeah. See you later. What kind of anime you got? Uh, lots of stuff. Okay. Want some water? No, I'm good. I'm good. Yes. I'm going to stick to Zephyr Hills. Thank you very much. All right, see you later. This review brought to you by Zephyr Hills. <laughs>